Thinking about a move probably involves a little bit of financing. Well, today we're talking about FHA financing and why if you're looking to purchase a home, you might want to consider it. And if you're selling, is it a bad thing? Well, let's dive on into that today. Hi, I'm Jake, your realtor, and today we're talking about FHA financing. Now, most people associate this with a government-funded loan, and that's not accurate. In fact, it's actually a government-insured loan. So whenever you're looking at a mortgage or a loan, the lender wants to be insured that you're going to repay the loan. And with a mortgage, this is usually backed by the equity in the home and the home itself. But when you're looking at a down payment of less than 20%, there becomes a little bit more risk that if you did get foreclosed on and the house went into foreclosure, that the loan won't be fully satisfied. And that's where mortgage insurance steps in. So in this scenario, the bank would be then cover the lender to make sure that all assets are returned to them. So in the 1930s, coming out of the Great Depression, the government wanted to get home buyers back into homes. Lots of people went into foreclosure and lost their homes, and the best way to do this was to help insure lenders and make them feel comfortable and encourage them to lend to the public again. And that's when they created the Federal Housing Authority, or FHA. And the purpose of this was for them to guarantee these loans. So by this means, they help collect premiums from the lenders, or from the home buyers rather, to help protect those loans for the lenders so that it encourages more growth because homes just work better when they're occupied with homeowners taking care of them, living in them, and also it helps increase values and gets the economy back on track. So traditionally with a conventional loan, you know, this is your private mortgage insurance, but the government insured loan has a more monthly payment as well, like a private mortgage, but it does also have an additional cost of one and three fourths percent that is actually at the front end of the loan, which usually gets financed in over the course of the loan as well. But this is something to take into consideration as there are a few more costs that come along with FHA financing. Well, why would you want to consider FHA financing? Well, one of the big appeals to it is the fact that they can finance as low as three and a half percent down uh, mortgages. And that appeals to a lot of people who are having a difficulty saving up that down payment where that mortgage payment could actually be more affordable than your current rent. And that's a big attraction. But also in compared to conventional loans, FHA is a little bit more lenient when it comes to their guidelines for financing. With traditional loans or a conventional loan, most of the time you're looking at a credit score of 620 or above. But in FHA, they're willing to consider down to 580 with their most popular 3.5% mortgage. Or if you're looking to put down 10%, they'll even consider down to 500 credit scores as well. So that really gives a larger window to people who might not traditionally qualify for a conventional loan. Also, during this process, you're gonna have an appraisal as well to help also give you some protection as well as the lender. And that comes through and makes sure that the home is worth what you're willing to pay for it. Now, most loans do this. And the difference though with an FHA loan is they're also doing a little bit of a double check to make sure that it complies with HUD. And what HUD is looking for is to make sure that the house is safe, that it's secure, and of soundness. So keep this in mind too when you're considering what types of homes you're looking for. If you're looking to improve the value of the home and maybe do some work, make sure it's cosmetic because if you're having to replace a roof, it's not gonna fly unless you're using a specialty rehab loan. But this brings up the point of why a seller would be concerned and if you should be concerned if you are selling your home. Well, if your home is in good shape and you know that the roof is sound and it's not leaking water and that you have a working furnace and all your pipes are working properly as well as the mechanicals, you're gonna be fine. And this is also a benefit to the buyer as well. Now, caution, this doesn't replace a home inspection. I will always encourage you to do so just so you really know every nook and cranny of your house and make sure you know what you're getting into as well. So I hope you found this useful and if you did feel free to like and subscribe to my channel and as always if you do have questions or if you just want to be put in touch with a lender that uh, works with FHA financing feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to help. I'm Jake Tishak with Keller Williams. Thanks for watching. like the page as well so you're notified as when those come out i'm jake tishak with keller williams i forgot to tell you call me
Call me right now. Pick up that phone.